Hey y'all, today I want to show you how to make some homemade sunscreen. And I mentioned in my video the other day um, that I was making, I showed y'all my cans of homemade sunscreen. Um, so today I want to show you how to do that. And it's actually really easy to do. Um, the, the main thing is going to be your zinc oxide and this says about zinc oxide the benefits of zinc oxide zinc oxide is one of the best broad spectrum uva and UV, uvb reflectors and has a smoothing and astringent properties so this is what we use to protect against the the um the sun when we make our sunscreen so let's get started The first thing that we're going to want to do is do our half a cup, half a cup of olive oil, and I am in the description. I am going to put this recipe so you guys can look down there and see the recipe. A half of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to put that down in my pot. I'm going to turn my heat on low, like just melting low. The next thing I want to do is get a fourth of a cup of Shea butter. And I was going to give y'all an update too. I was mentioning in my video a while ago on making the whipped body butter. I absolutely love it. Now I can just use it straight out of here or straight out of my thing. Uh, straight out of my coconut oil because I use coconut oil too to moisturize with but I really like the fact that I was able to put aloe and lavender in with it um, so I really liked it I really like the consistency that it turned out it is still super greasy so I still only use it at night um, but I really like the consistency that it turned out okay so a fourth of a cup of Shea butter. I'm going to put that down in there so it can melt too. And this is just 100% pure Shea butter. Also have unrefined coconut oil. of a cup of coconut oil, a fourth of a cup. And that will also begin to melt down. So I'm going to melt all these down, melt them together. I'm going to get um, a fourth of a cup of cocoa butter these are they smell amazing by the way they smell so good um these are hard like in brick form so what i do is just kind of take it and they're like really hard and just kind of break pieces up until i fill up my fourth of a cup this is something that doesn't have to be exact measurements it really doesn't there are some things I've shown y'all how to do, like the um, soap that has to be exact, like you cannot get off. This is not one of those things. So about a fourth of a cup of broke up um, cocoa butter, and this makes it smell amazing too, it makes the sunscreen smell amazing too. Now what I need to do is, this is this is an old beeswax bag that I bought my first before we got bees. Um, but this is actually, and I hope I can show y'all how to do this soon. This is actually a big block of our bees beeswax that I cleaned and um, melted together. So we will also need a fourth of a cup 
of beeswax as well. This really gives it, this and the other ingredients really give it that waterproof that it needs, that you need in sunscreen. So I'm just going to shred a fourth of a cup. I've got one behind the camera she's watching. She's been under the weather this week, which is not how we wanted to start our summer off, but she's feeling a little bit better. of a cup of beeswax and all of these ingredients can either be found at your local stores Amazon is another place that you can get um, all of these ingredients from so while that's melting down I'm just going to kind of clean up my mess I wanted to quickly do this and show y'all this while the baby is napping um, so it will be a little bit more quiet in the background. So we're going to clean up as we go so I don't have to dig up a mess when the baby wakes up. Um, a few things that you want to remember when using this homemade sunscreen is it's not going to be your store bought 50 SPL. Things that I have found that work for our family are uh, we have we always try to avoid swimming between the we live in the deep south so it gets really really hot here and um, we get burned really really easy especially the more fair complected you are um, which I am but uh, the 11 to 1 time frame is when the uh, rays are the worst so we always try to avoid swimming during that time um, we like to try to swim either early morning or late afternoon. Um, if we're swimming with family and friends and we're going to be out all day like last week, uh, we went and swam with some cousins and they swam literally from 10 till 3 in the afternoon. I used my sunscreen. Um, it was our first full day this summer to be outside all day. Um, like in the direct sun not outside all day but i'm talking like direct sun no breaks no shades um you can't go under a tree or whatever you're in the direct sun all day long um this was our first full swim day to where we weren't out early morning or late afternoon we were in the direct sun all day so i used my sunscreen i applied it every one to two hours um and let it dry before i let them get back in the pool um, now they, two of mine, one, I had one that was kind of pink under the eyes and one that was kind of pink on the shoulders. Um, not that big of a deal. We put some aloe on. They were good by the next day. Now, a few days before that, I had been out weeding the garden and I was out there for two hours in the direct sun. Did my rows of tomatoes. I did not put any sunscreen on at all and I still, I'm still suffering in my bag. This has been over a week ago, and I typically, even though I'm pretty fair complected within a few days, if I get sunburned, I'm usually two or three days peel and I'm fine. I'm over a week. Yesterday was a week, and I burned, I got blisters, peeled that off, and now I have on my back, because I have like a razor back, shirt on I have these um, my skin is like crackly like a dry um, I don't really know how to explain it it's real rough like sandpaper even after I peeled I've never done this before so I'm, I'm pretty sure I got a good second degree sunburn will not be doing that again I will be putting sunscreen on from now on 
And anyway, so that is peeling again. So I have, I'm on my second peel from that sunburn. So guys, use your sunscreen. Um, but my kids were out the entire day with the sunscreen on, got a little pink. Um, not that big of a deal. By the next day, they were good to go. I was out for two hours with no sunscreen and literally got blistered. So um, that's just a testimony to this zinc oxide and how, how it's done well. Um, but I will say, just use your common sense. Typically, if we're, we are going to be outside during that time, um, we didn't the day that I was telling you about we were outside all day because I didn't pack for my girls. My girls decided to pack for themselves. Um, we were swimming at, at someone else's house. Now, we have a pool. So, usually when we're going to be outside during that time, what, what my girls wear um, is the Sun Guard swimwear, which is like the sleeved. And some of them are long sleeves, but they're also... Um, protectants from the sun there um, the last one I bought was like an SPF 50 so we don't have to apply sunscreen under that we just use the swim the sun guard swimwear if we're going to be out all day um, and that I have found is a huge key um, for my family to uh, not get sunburned if we're going to be out all day those um, I racked up I started really buying those heavily last year if I found one on sale or for a decent price we bought it and just recently I went to Walmart and they had a long sleeve one really cute for girls with the bottoms for ten dollars and that's a steal um, that's something that you can't pass up so um, we use our sunscreen in the mornings and the afternoons um, and if we're going to be swimming during that really uh, hot time or the rays are the worst, I really like for my girls to put on their um, tops to swim in. Um, so I always say just use common sense. If you put this on one time and swim for four hours in the direct sun during the worst part of the day, you're going to get burned. So um, just use your common sense with it. And, um, and if... if you're not exactly sure if you're real fair skin how it's going to work with you don't test it a whole day you test it for a few hours see how it does for you um, and then if you want to go to the beach and use it that would be probably a better idea okay so we're almost we're we're almost melted down here i still have just a few pieces um so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and kill my um heat and as soon as this finishes melting i'm gonna need to move this off and I'm going to let it cool. And once it cools, we're going to add our next two ingredients in and our sunscreen will be done. So we're going to let this uh, finish melting. And it's almost there. This looky head, wake up. Well, he was, he was. Uh, I'll try to learn to do it. Can you turn it off for me, Carly? We're going to finish letting this melt, and then I'm going to move it off to the side and let that temperature come back down before I add my zinc oxide and my lavender oil. Okay, as you can see, it's completely melted down. Now I've got got it slid over and I need that temperature to come down for just a little bit so I'm going to leave it over there for about 10 to 15 minutes or until I notice that the wax if you look if you start stirring it and you notice on the sides that the wax is starting to dry then you need to go ahead definitely and add your zinc oxide powder in your lavender okay so my um mixture has cooled back down it's not at a state where it's um starting to get too soft but it's not really really hot like it was so this is when i want to add my zinc oxide and what you're wanting to do you're just not wanting to hurt the chemical makeup of your lavender and your zinc oxide so i'm going to go ahead and add it's a fourth of a cup of zinc oxide.
and 10 drops of lavender oil. So I'm going to put a cap full, which is going to be about 10 or drops. She, or she's, um, tell him I'll call him back. And what I want to do now is I'm going to take my whisk. And I'm just going to mix this together with my whisk. And you can see that the color has changed in this because I've added the white. So it's like a mustardy color almost from the Shia butter and then the white mixing. So I'm just going to mix this in really good. And make sure I have all the clumps and stuff broke up. And I put mine in... So I'm just going to use some glass containers and I've got one started that has been extra that I've made that I've just put back for me and the kids to use. So now I have it at this liquid consistency and I've got everything mixed in and it's mixed in really well. So I don't make a mess because I am a well-known mess maker. I'm going to take a little bit of wax paper and I'm going to put it under my jars just so I don't make that big of a mess. And since it's still in a really good liquid state, I'm just going to pour it right in and just fill my jars up. So that's all. I have my containers now and I will just set these off to the side and let them completely cool back down to room temperature. Okay, now, so just got everything poured back up and I'm going to put the tops back on it and put it in a cool place to store it. Now because the base ingredients of these are shea butter and coconut oil, if you take them outside and you leave them in the direct sun for all day, then they're going to get really, really soft, almost to like a wannabe, like a liquid form. So try to keep it in the shade, um, but when, you, when you're done with it for the day, put it um, in, a, in a cool place so it'll be good to use. Um, and won't just be like that total liquid state. So once it's done, this is what it'll be like. This is your, um, this is somebody, so I can't use it. Um, this is what it'll be like, and you can just dab it out of there like you would regular sunscreen. It's not gonna be like the um, kind that you buy from the store that you just turn over and squeeze out. It's not gonna be that liquidy. However, if you leave it in the sun, it might be. But I find it to be messy when you're using, trying to use it out of jars to, for it to be that liquidy. So I store mine um, just in a cool place um, somewhere in your home. Um, and that is it. That is our homemade sunscreen. And um, we this is our second year to use it. And um, I don't have any complaints with it whatsoever. Um, like I mentioned before, 
Um, if you're fair complected and you put it on one time and you go out from 11 to 1 and stay in the direct sun all those hours, you're going to get burned. So just use common sense with it um, and you'll have good results too. So happy homesteading, y'all.